Here we are January 26, 2016 and we finally closed on our dream property in Southern Illinois. It's about 150 acres so I've started a couple days ago but today I'll give you some idea what I'm starting on out there. The first thing is to cut a couple new roads in there. The previous owner had one road going through the center of the best bedding in the property. And then that road went through the center of the cash crop field in the middle of the property. And he's a serious hunter. He's killed some 200 inch deer in that. However, I asked him why he didn't have trail cam pictures uh, this last two years. Because uh, I was really interested in seeing what might be out there. And he said that his hired hand took a different job. So in other words, he, he wasn't gonna do this work, the hard work to manage it. So in my opinion, it's set up very poorly for the um, potential that it has. It has huge potential and I will prove that. I guarantee you. So I'm stocked up on pain pills to start some chainsaw work and I'm catching breakfast at the Vienna Diner. As you can see right there. So I'll show you what I'm doing today. Hinge cutting, screening and clearing for, uh, for some new four-wheeler paths electric that is so this is my mobile command post here a cup of coffee my notebook taking care of phone calls first before heading out to the land all right so here you can see one of the new paths here down the fence line over there is the neighbor's property and the fence line runs east and west here so what i am doing is instead of using that road down the center I am slowly clearing a new road here down the south border following the fence line so as to not disturb the center of this beautiful nasty gnarly bedding saw several cross trails here coming from uh, I think his hay field right there so my hope is to change that when I put some new plots in and have more food down here they're already bedding on me because it's way thicker than over there so then they'll bed here and go towards my new plots is how I want to change all right new road system Right along the edge of this bluff here, which happens to be the property line. Very nice. Just like that, very slowly. Tractor in here. So I can put the tractor in and make it a little wider. Alright, and here's another hazard you gotta look for. There's the fence line down in the middle of this ditch. And you can see it's posted here, which is now our property facing that way. So I'm uh I'm down here on the ground and I find this metal bolt. And at first I thought it was a survey pin, which would be up on the top of this, so I was pretty disappointed. Then I started digging some more, and there's a chain and a big trap on it, so I was happy to find out it was a trap. But you got to be careful when you're clearing these roads, because I'm going to probably bush hog this eventually. That would not have been pretty in the brush hog. Just a tip when making new roads. All right, there's the same shot about a half hour later. Making progress, cutting open a new road on the very edge of the property. 
All right, so this was my ultimate destination from that road along the property line. And I'm gonna show you what we got here. This was a beautiful natural opening here, which may have been a food plot many years ago. Um, but there is the road that cuts right through the center of the beautiful bedding. All right, so I just completed the road. Granted it's thin, but it's enough for now. That is following, it comes in right there. So my property line is only about 20 yards that way. And you can see there's an old stand. All right, we're right there. An old wooden one, but somebody was hunting there at one time. That's on a neighboring property. So I did all this screening cut right here, which will do two things. Obviously the deer will feel a little safer in here. I'm gonna push this plot farther back that way and make it a little bigger and let this corner grow. So this screening will uh, help the deer feel safer in here, but it will also screen the neighboring property from seeing into here. These trees down are all hinge cut, so they should almost all survive. And when everything greens up, it will be a thick barrier. I was really hesitant to cut these beautiful oaks right here in the front. Um, I mean, they're about eight inches at the base, but I'm going to go ahead and hinge cut them down as well because they're going to block sunlight in from the, this end of the plot. And I got another 100 acres of wood, so I'm going to finish this hinge cut right here on the front, and then this whole thing will be really protected, and I can sneak in from my south property line without having to come through the center of the bedding. All right, I'm gonna try and cut these all in the same direction so that they have a clear path to fall and they ain't getting tangled up on each other. to take that cedar this way because when I looked at that great big oak tree there I could potentially hunt that and have a nice shooting lane there in that little V there but this is a well it's at least six seven foot thick right now and everything's dead it's winter so you can imagine when all that greens up it'll be a real nice screening barrier for the neighbor and a screening barrier for the deer in this food plot.